Good morning everyone, I hope you're well, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Sebi and I've never ever started a vlog straight from the bat of waking up and in bed. Um, by the way, I am wearing clothes, it's just the strap is down because it was annoying me. Um, uh, yeah, good morning, I hope you're well. Today is a very, very, very sunny Friday and I'm really, really shaky because I just had to take my inhaler. Is anyone else who is asthmatic and has hay fever really feeling it right now. I need to get up and start my day, wash my face, brush my teeth, and we're gonna have a fun, productive day together. We're gonna be doing so much stuff, we're gonna be having so much fun. So, get your chai, if you don't know what chai is, it's tea, and get some biscuits, biscuits, and sit down and enjoy. Guys, my shellac has like started to come off my nails, right? My shellac started to come off my nails, I can't show you because the camera won't focus, but basically, every time I move my hands through my hair, my hair gets stuck under this crappy shellac. So I need to like take them off basically and do another one, like I do another nail polish. But my nails, in good news, have actually grown out so much, they look like they are longer than extensions. Ugh, look, it's stuck right now again. Look, that's what it looks like. So it literally just gets stuck under these bits. Like it is really, really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face now. So I have some face washes. So I have this Kiehl's Ultra Face Wash, um, a facial cleanser, and I also have this Kiehl's Caledonia Face Wash. Um, I'm gonna go with, because I've got a bit of a breakout here, I'm gonna wash with the Caledonia Face Wash. Um, when my skin is all clear, I use the other one, the Ultra Face Wash. And for a scrub, Sina literally recently opened this, and I am so obsessed. She got it from America, from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. It's called Sea Tox Mermaid Approved Sea Mineral um, Body Detox Polish. Don't mind that, that's just more makeup on it. But that one's like basically, because it's an all body kind of scrub, it's not too harsh on your face, I find. So I really, really like that. So if any of you guys are in America, I really recommend it. Now that I'm looking so beautiful, I'm gonna brush, brush my teeth. I asked my mom to get me a new toothbrush. Yeah, this is before lockdown. Literally right before lockdown. She gets me this tiny, tiny toothbrush. Like, this is the average size toothbrush. Can you see? And she gets me this tiny one, and it's so frustrating because I feel like I need to use nine times the arm power to like clean my teeth, what the hell? And now whilst I'm here, I'm just going to wash my beauty blender. So I just wash it with warm water and soap. Soak now and just wash it out with that much soap. Squeeze it in, rub it in. And ooh, right, I can't show this on camera. And that is it, like much cleaner. Um, obviously these bits, you're not going to really get that out ever again. It's stained. So now I'm just going to dry up my face and all of this with a towel. I don't know why I'm explaining what I'm doing, but everyone knows when you wash your face, you dry it with a towel. Thank God I'm not filming a morning routine. I would be awful. So I literally just grab this towel and squeeze that in there. And then I literally just soak it all off. Also, if you get makeup on your towel, don't worry, because makeup washes off. If it, if it didn't, I would be in a lot of trouble. And guys, if you ever get makeup on your clothes, I don't know if you watch my New Year's Eve vlog, but my cell of water gets all out. So, yeah. Random top tips that I'm remembering in the morning is always helpful. And by morning, I mean like, it's kind of afternoon now, but you know. So this is like my skin. As you can see, it's actually doing a lot better than it was. I've just got this little spot here that kind of just persisted. But other than that, we're pretty clear, sis. We're pretty clear. So I'm happy about that. Now I'm gonna go and do my makeup. Thank you. So I just finished my makeup. This is what it has turned out like. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm just gonna get changed and I'm gonna ask my Instagram for questions about 
med school related stuff and I'm going to be answering them here on a YouTube video. So yeah, just going to get changed for that and then film that video but I need to eat something. So let's get changed. Also guys, if you're wondering if I'm the kind of gal who wakes up and makes her bed in the morning, yes I am. As for the rest of the room, we're having a clear out and it's starting to look like this. Literally, this is the one corner in my room that looks like semi-normal and the rest of it is a bombshell. But we will cross that bridge when we need to cross that bridge, which is basically probably tonight because my mum is going to kill me because of how messy I've made my room. But I need to clear stuff out. A lot of you guys DM me and ask me if I sell my stuff on Depop. I don't. Actually, my sisters and I, my whole family, my mum, my dad, um, and even like my aunties, this has always been something that our family has done. Whenever we have clothes, like I have a lot of clothes sent to me from brands that are brand new even, I have tags on or whatever. Um, and I have a lot of clothes that are in very good condition. And we will just pack them up in a suitcase and um, send them to Iran. So if my dad and mum are going to Iran or if we know family going and they have empty luggage or when we go, we literally just always take these um, suitcases over a few times a year and we give the clothes to people who we know um, kind of need them. And um, obviously they don't have a lot of the brands that we have here. And yeah, we just... Uh, feel like that's better use of the clothes. So no, I won't be selling the stuff that you guys see on Depop But hopefully someone else gets to wear them for free and enjoy them and I don't know. I just it makes me happy. So Let's go have some coffee. Let's go have some food. Let's go talk to Instagram. Why do I do this weird accent? I don't know why I don't know why apologize apologize apologies. We sit in here. We out here. I don't know what that is. I was waiting for mummy to join in. <laughs> um, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna have a iced coffee. The weather is so beautiful right now. Okay, I need to, I need to stop doing this accent. I'm gonna have an iced coffee because the weather is amazing and <laughs> she's got my little coffee capsule. Can I just say, my house is currently short of coffee capsules and my mum knows I need to have coffee in the morning. So she's been hiding, she's hidden a box for me. I'm shouting this. She's hidden a box for me so that, you know, Simon doesn't take it. My grandma doesn't drink coffee, that's her. And so that she doesn't take it. I mean, my mum's not gonna take from the stash. But anyway, um, that. And also, I just wanna put this out there. I'm really mad at Sina because I was doing really well in terms of health until this kid bought Cheetos, okay? These crunchy cheese ones, I will sit down and I will watch Netflix at night time. I'll be watching Money Heist. I'll have this and a little Diet Coke and it's just awful. So guys, I mean, it's incredible, but it's awful for your health. So guys, try not to buy snacks. We made that mistake at first. We kept buying loads of snacks because we were like, look, we're not able to go out at all. Like we need to try and buy stuff that we'll be craving and won't be able to just pop to the shops for, etc. So that's what we did. But now I'm trying to use up all the snacks. I'm being the kind one here, using up all the snacks so that when they're finished, that's it, khalas, done, tamam, hichi, um, and that we can just be healthy. Um, that means I have a few cakes to make too. I might make one tonight and show you guys, seeing as so many of you guys are asking me how I make my pastas and how I make my cakes. That is all on my Instagram, so if you want to see that, then don't forget to check out my Instagram. It is Persian Bunny. And my mom has made, I don't even know, Zeresh Polo? Zeresh Polo? Yes. Oh, is that a whole chicken? Whole chicken, ten legs, and uh, she likes to cook in bulk. <laughs> I don't know why the cup is so big for such a tiny coffee. And then this is my egg and avocado. So this is my little break. So my mum has given me half an hour to do a workout before she serves the food. So I'm just gonna do a quick legs and abs, like 20 minutes, half an hour. So wait, let me lower the camera and then you guys can just watch with some pretty music in the background because this isn't gonna be pretty. You're just gonna hear me panting. Also, I'm using this band and it's from BND, which is, I don't know if you guys know Grace Fit, but it's her store, so just gonna warm up with that.
Oh, there was some pigeon jumping up behind me and best believe I almost died. By the way, my gym leggings, these are my favorite. They're from Forever 21 and they're getting loose. That's super sad. I have lost weight in quarantine, by the way. If you guys have noticed it, thanks. Um, yeah, I've lost five kilos since Dubai. Um, if you guys have watched the Dubai vlog. So I have been trying to lose my excess weight and um, quarantine was hard at first, but I'm trying to basically eat healthy and smaller portions. So if you guys want to see what I eat in a day in quarantine, let me know down below and I'll just get back to squatting. Okay. Now I'm going to deadlift with the bar. I'm not very good at this, but we have to start from somewhere. So I just had a quick body shower. Sorry, my battery ran out on my camera. So I couldn't show my ab kind of workout bit of my workout and my hair looks so funny like this. Um, but I'm just going to go down to eat. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to show you guys what we have for lunch. I'm very hungry. Um, I don't even know what to wear. I've had like a million outfit changes today because I've been filming um, like different videos and obviously working out. So my hands shaking. Be right back. So my mom's made zeresh polo and wow. Hello. I wasn't talking about Sina, the food. I was talking about Zaina. Wow. Oh, looking like a painting. You looking like a whole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, wow, this food is so nice, yummy. Oh, it's so mummy minty. I love I'm you. so excited. Fresh polo is my favorite. Yeah, I can't and wait to And um, Adas polo bagusht. No, that's Saul's favorite. Polo bagusht. My favorite. I just like So I just finished watching Sina's video that we filmed the other day of me doing her makeup. That is on her YouTube channel. Um, so if you guys want to watch that, it is. Hilarious. Um, I never realized I was so rough on people's faces when doing their makeup. And now I'm just chilling on the sofa with my mom. Mom and June is gonna come over in a sec to this section too, and we're gonna put something. <laughs> I love the way whenever my camera comes out, like whilst the camera's out, she starts doing her hair. Because always my hair is open. I don't know anytime. Can I just I'm... say, don't lie, your hair is always in a clip. Your hair. Be honest, I. <laughs> She's like, don't say, don't lie. Um, it's a figure of speech. Basically, <laughs> your hair is always in a clip. I was thinking, and I might just do this tomorrow. I might give you a makeover. What do you think? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Hmm? You're actually ready for me to give you a makeover? Yes. I'm gonna make you look like a Barbie. Okay. I like how you dress, yeah. Okay. But I want you to be like a Barbie. I'm your Barbie. We really want a cake. Oh, me too. Should I make a cake? Uh, cake? She tells me off because it makes my skin break out if I have too much sweet stuff. I don't think so. Um, we need to make a cake because I don't think we have loads of cake. No? Look, she, all day, this is all they watch. Every night, I watch Money Heist after, after they've gone to bed. But before I go to bed, these lot watch old Iranian classic movies on YouTube. And their favorite actor is Fardin. And Furuzan. <laughs> I don't even know who Furuzan. Furuzan ki has! No, wait, we're watching Sultana Galba and Sina is no. crying. It's because it was emotional, you know? <laughs> Sultana Galba! Like, she's literally singing like, she was singing, oh, where is the owner of my heart? And then all of a sudden, no, the sultan of my heart and then all of a sudden he runs down from the bed. So we have taken a vote in the house and I am going to be making 
Cupcakes. What batter do we have, Sina? What batter do we have? <laughs> I'm just like, literally. what's wrong with you? What batter do we have? Ow! Ow! Do you ever have this? Or you're just like, I know. I like it when you so hug me, but over, over my current breast area, it's quite painful. Oh, so. Sorry. Don't Do you remember the other day I was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what cake batter do we have? <laughs> <laughs> what cake batter do we have? Um, I don't know. We have the, that. It's our Betsy's a cake batter. Oh, no, it? It that's it Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. pudding. So I have lemon cake mix and I have coffee cake mix. So I think I'm gonna make lemon cupcakes. Ooh. The only problem is that because of quarantine and the virus, we have thrown out all like exterior packaging that could have virus on it. So I don't actually know what I'm meant to mix this cake mix with. What was the name of the company that we got the cake mix from? Um, it's called the shop round the roundabout. <laughs> She's looking yeah. for the box. You're not gonna find it because we bought this last week. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I forgot. It was called. <laughs> no, I know it. I know it. Thanks I, so much. I actually searched it on your phone when I made it. So I'm gonna start making this cake. Make that cake, girl. Make that cake. All right, I'm gonna stop make dancing. Make that cake, girl. Make that cake. Make that cake. <laughs> what kind of cake yeah. is that? Also, my house, yeah, because my mum doesn't bake anything, my house does not have any baking equipment, okay? We do not have a whisk. We do not have, we have a baking tray, but I don't know why this woman has it. Oh, she has it for Yorkshire puddings for Christmas, but she doesn't have it for anything else. And we don't have like, a, what, do, what else do bakers use? We don't have a mixing bowl thing. We don't have anything. Don't so have if you guys want to see me cook more, feel free to post me some uh, some baking <laughs> items. You know, a girl, a girl needs equipment. So what we need a whisker, because my, uh, my hands are tired. What's a whisker? Isn't it a whisker where you got you whisk it away? Whisk it's a whisk. whisk. We need uh, a whisk. Sina's made cakes too. Let's just say Sina's cake. You guys, that's not fair because A, as she says, we never had anything. And B, we didn't even have this cake mix. I literally had to substitute every single thing. All right, thing. so this is my... Oh, no, we have that. We actually, you don't need someone to make the thing for you. I'm not you using chocolate icing. icing. I'm not using chocolate icing on a lemon cake. That is disgusting. Um, so I'm going to put the lemon cake mix in here. Yeah, it's nice. Lemon cake is nice. Why do you sound upset for? What about this... Coffee, coffee. Oh. I think lemon cake is nicer because I'm gonna I'm gonna make it really nice with buttercream when it's gonna be lemon cupcakes. Oh, I can. You don't sound. Are you disgusting. making all of them cupcakes? Yeah. So why don't you make a half of a cupcake because it's double star double star cake? So make one cake and then put the cupcakes on no. top of it. I'm not going for it. What, what is this? Is this red? What is that show called? What's that show called with Mary something? Um, bake the Bake Off. Is this the Great British Bake Off? Just because I have an English accent and I'm currently in the United Kingdom, does not mean that Betty is gonna come out here and judge me. What's the guy called with the beard? Um, He's kinda handsome, the old man. I don't know what she's talking about. My dad will be so offended that I called him the old man because he's literally the same age as my dad. He's probably younger than my dad actually, thinking about it. He's not old, he's quite young. <laughs> he's like, she's scared of my dad. He's the George Clooney, you know? In the cake like, More beautiful than George Clooney. Oh, George, look at him. Oh. They're just saying that my George Clooney is isn't here right now. <laughs> if you had George Clooney and Daddy side by side, I'd wonder if you still said Daddy. Of course you would, man. She's been married, married for that long. How long have you been married for? Like, no, this year? This year is going to be 40 years that you're married. Number 14. <laughs> so that's the cake mix. We should say I'm 24. How is that possible? <laughs> this is the cake mix. Okay, find, did you find the ingredients? No, I don't feel like this is gonna. This isn't gonna fit. I need a bigger. All right, but you said you're gonna find the ingredients, seeing as you threw out the thing. I didn't throw it out. Steffi, so put some of these. Oh, I wish you made something, and then you could put these chocolate chips in there. My grandma won't have anything with chocolate so, in it. Well, I thought you're making cupcakes. I am. So why can't you just put this on them? Okay, but I don't want to put chocolate chip in. Why don't you just leave me alone? But you did this. You do, you said you don't want to make the cake. Okay, okay but you so know, so leave me be. But can I just no? Say, please let no. me sit, and I promise no. I'll leave you. You know this mix has got no lemon or anything inside it, right? It's after you make this, you can buy the whole lemon whatever. Thing. Smell it. It's lemon cake mix. Mm, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Miss American pie. Does anyone else bicker like this with their siblings? Because that is all we do. Okay, so now I have all of the ingredients. I'm going to whisk it together with a fork. Mm. 
Not bad, right? And now I'm gonna put it inside this cupcake tin. So to stop it from sticking to the tin, I use um, spray, like Fry Light spray, and I spray it all over. I'm actually so nervous, I've never made cupcakes before, and like, I don't know if I filled them too much because they're already looking like they're like gonna explode. Okay, no time to worry, we've got to make the buttercream. So I'm making the buttercream icing now, I'm using um, a recipe of BBC. So what I'm using is 150 grams of butter, 300 grams of icing sugar, um, and then I'm gonna add some orange juice and orange zest. Um, tastes amazing by the way. And a few drops of vanilla extract. And then you can call me Martha Stewart. I had to literally think for ages to think of the name of the other one. I was thinking Nigella, that's it. You can call me Nigella. Um, so let me get started. So this is the buttercream once it's done and then we just spread that on top of the cake once it's cooled down. How cute have these little cakes come out? I'm just waiting for them to cool down and then I'm gonna add the buttercream on top of them but for now they are just looking so adorable. So this is the finished product. These are my cupcakes. Wow, they look even better on camera. Um, and these are buttercream and this half has Nutella. I'm probably gonna go eat these with my family and have some tea and then do some editing stuff. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy them, please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, leave me some comments down below. Let's have some chats. Tell me what you guys are up to this quarantine period and what more you wanna see from me. I'm so happy to show you anything you guys wanna see. So let me know. Don't forget to check out my socials, they're always linked down below, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Sappy Samoy. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!